It was 256 years ago that the Acadians were forced from their homes in what is now the Annapolis Valley. Today, a ceremony was held to mark the anniversary of the expulsion. The CBC's Paul Palmiter was there. The Afrikamani Choir from Dieppe, New Brunswick, kicked off the event with the singing of the Acadian anthem. Many of the people who were at the event had a connection with the rich Acadian history in the Grand Prix area. If you look on this site, on one side you have the cross, on the other side you have the uh, monument to the planters. And every time I come here, and I come here very often, I see it as the joining of these two people. The commemoration and reconciliation event was held at the deportation cross at Horton Landing. It was on July 28, 1755, when Acadians were summoned to this church. It was here that they were given their deportation orders. 2,000 Acadians were expelled, placed on small boats, and rowed out to larger ships waiting in the Minas Basin. Over the next seven years, 10,000 Acadians were deported from the area. People have a tendency to forget their roots, and it's very important that we have some sense of where we came from, who came before us, the contributions they made, so that we can pass on some of their traditions to future generations. The Acadians lived in Grand Pre for 70 years before they were expelled. They were known for their skills as hired laborers and built complex dike systems that held back the waters of the Bay of Fundy. To this day, it is among the most fertile farmland in the region. While remembering the injustices, crimes and violations suffered by our respective peoples, we must highlight the success, vibrancy, and culture that we have imbued our country with. The ceremony wrapped up with the laying of flowers at the base of the deportation cross. Paul Palmiter, CBC News, Horton Landing. That is a pretty piece of the province, isn't it? Gorgeous, gorgeous. Wow.